this late 70s catalog, you can find a weird gun camera. The first photo snipers were designed in the 40s, originally for military use, as an observation camera. With the look and feel of a rifle, the photo sniper was supposed to help you be more stable when shooting photos. Over the years, the photo sniper was redesigned for civilian use. Later, in the 80s, the FS-12 model was available as a camera for amateurs, nature photographers, spies and paparazzi. The photo sniper became more and more popular. It even appeared on a famous Soviet cartoon. I found my kit at a flea market. I saw a metal case on a table, opened it and couldn't believe my eyes. A complete kit. I asked for the price thinking it would cost a fortune. But the guy selling it told me he was too scared to take it out nowadays. And he wanted to get rid of it. He asked me 15 euros for the box. I didn't hesitate a single second and I bought it. What is the main problem with the photo sniper? You're unlikely to go unnoticed by people around you. So in the best case scenario, they will come and ask you what you are doing. And in the worst case scenario, they will freak out and call the police because of the terrorist walking around with a grenade launcher. I adapted the tire lens on my A7 III using a M42 adapter. And to avoid being shot by the police, I tested the lens without the gun. To have the best stability, I mounted the lens on a monopod.
the 16 aperture blades gives you a great bokeh. I must say I was blown away by the quality of the lens. It's incredibly sharp and when using a tripod you can really get some nice organic footage. It's a great lens for bird lovers, but it could be really interesting to use it for portraits or more crazy experiments. If you want to see more behind the scenes and mini tutorials, please follow me on Instagram. If you like this kind of weird lens experiment, please like this video, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.